Hey guys, this is Michael Straight of Fitness. I got a question in the email from a girl. She asked me, hey Michael, how many protein drinks are necessary per day? And I thought that was a great question because isn't it, isn't protein the most confusing subject in the whole entire world? Protein shakes? The answer is zero. You don't need any protein shakes, really. You don't really need them. However, they are so dang convenient that I highly recommend them because the reason protein powder exists is just for one reason only and that is one word and it has three syllables and it starts with a C. It's convenience. Protein powder exists because it's convenient, a convenient way of getting your protein in. Now let's say you are a woman and you want to lose weight. And you calculate your calories, you find out that you're burning every day about 2,000 calories. Well, the key is you want to get a little bit underneath those 2,000 calories. So you want to be at about maybe 1,700, 1,600 calories, maybe 1,500 calories. Now, 1,500 calories through real food is a lot of food. You're going to notice that. However, if you have a busy schedule, if you're a nurse, let's say, you only get an hour lunch break here and there, and you're running around all the time saving lives, good for you but the thing is you're not going to have time to eat maybe you're a bank teller or whatever you do for a living if you're on your feet all day and you don't have time to eat you don't have time to sit down and eat the chicken eat the bison eat the turkey eat the grass-fed beef then really you're going to just going to be ending up skipping meals and then you're going to under eat and you're not going to eat enough and that is the number one problem that people have when they try to lose weight is they just simply don't eat enough boom that's where a protein shake comes in Protein shakes are invented for convenience. When you are running around all day long and you know you're not gonna be able to get a solid meal in, then go ahead at home, make yourself a protein shake in the Vitamix, in the blender, get some almond milk in there. Put a scoop of this in there. So usually about 25 grams. Also, you can put some oatmeal in there, put some peanut butter in there, put some blueberries in there, get some calories in there, and then it's gonna be a meal replacement shake. Now. That right there is convenience. However, real food is always better. Even though we sell protein powder, I make a profit on this, I still want you to eat real food. And the most amount of protein shakes you should drink per day, according to the Michael Davis Research of Institute of Science, underground lab here in La Mirada, somewhere over there, is two. You want to drink a max of two a day. And the reason I'm saying that is because I don't want you drinking protein shakes all day because your stomach's designed to digest the food, to digest the sweet potato, to digest the rice, the potatoes, the fruit, the chicken, the beef, the asparagus, the broccoli, you get the picture, right? The almonds, eat the real food. And if you know absolutely that you cannot eat a real food in, that's when a protein shake comes in. So how many protein shakes do you need? Zero, but it's so convenient, you might as well get yourself some. If you like this video, hit like, of course, there's gonna be people that don't agree with what I say, I don't have time to care. I just want to make sure that you understand what protein powder is for. Does protein powder make you bulky? No, calories make you bulky. Will protein powder make you lose weight? No, calories will make you lose weight. Protein powder is just for convenience. Just to replace the protein so you can drink your protein instead of eating. That's it. Now go ahead and share this video because I want the protein myth, the protein uh, controversy to be gone once and for all. But I'm probably going to be doing this video next year too. But that's okay. Leave a comment below, hit like if you like this video, and I can't wait to see you next video.